Thank goodness you've returned. Much has changed since you lived here, my friend. All was peaceful until the Dark Riders came and destroyed our village. Many were cut down where they stood, and those who took up arms were slain or, or dragged away to become slaves, or worse. The church at the edge of town has been desecrated and is being used for dark rituals. The screams that echo in the night are inhuman, but some of our townsfolk may yet survive. Follow the path that lies between my tavern and the blacksmith's shop to find the church and save who you can. Perhaps I can tell you more if we speak again. Good luck. Well, what can I do for you? Well, I have to practically smuggle in the metals and tools I need from caravans that skirt the edges of our damned town. That witch Adria always seems to get whatever she needs. If I knew even the smallest bit about how to harness magic as she did, I could make some truly incredible things. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Poor Farnham. He is a disquieting reminder of the doomed assembly that entered into the cathedral with Lazarus on that dark day. He escaped with his life, but his courage and much of his sanity were left in some dark pit. He finds comfort only at the bottom of his tankard nowadays, but there are occasional bits of truth buried within his constant ramblings. And a fellow drinking peace? <laughs> I like Pepper. He really tries, you know. Listen here, you should make sure you get to know him. Good fellow like that with people always wanting help. Hey, I guess I'd be kind of like you, huh? Hero? I was a hero, too, you know. What ails you, my friend? While I use some limited forms of magic to create the potions and elixirs I store here, Adria is a true sorceress. She never seems to sleep, and she always has access to many mystic tomes and artifacts. I believe her hut may be much more than the hovel it appears to be, but I can never seem to get inside the place. How may I serve you? Farnham is a drunkard who fills his belly with ale and everyone else's ears with nonsense. I know that both Pepin and Ogden feel sympathy for him, but I get so frustrated watching him slip farther and farther into a befuddled stupor every night. If you haven't noticed, I don't buy anything from Tristram. I am an importer of quality goods. If you want to peddle junk, you'll have to see Griswold, Pepin, or that witch Adria. I'm sure they'll snap up whatever you can bring them. something done, but I couldn't impose on a perfect stranger. Perhaps after you've been here a while, I might feel more comfortable asking the favor. I sense a soul in search of answers. Earth and walls and thatched canopy do not a home create. The innkeeper Ogden serves more of a purpose in this town than many understand. He provides shelter for Jillian and her matriarch, maintains what life Farnham has left to him, and provides an anchor for all who are left in the town to what Tristram once was. His tavern and the simple pleasures that can still be found there provide a glimpse of a life that the people here remember. 
It is that memory that continues to feed their hopes for your success. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus, he led us down here to find the Lost Prince. The bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Avenge us! Find this Butcher and slay him, so that our souls may finally rest. How may I serve you? When Farnham said something about a butcher killing people, I immediately discounted it. But since you brought it up, maybe it is true. Thank good. Well, what can I do for you? I saw what Farnham calls the butcher as it swathed a path through the bodies of my friends. Ah, oh, he swung a cleaver as large as an axe, hewing limbs and cutting down brave men where they stood. I was separated from the fray by a host of small screeching demons, and somehow found the stairway leading out. I never saw that hideous beast again, but his blood-stained visage haunts me to this day. Hello, my friend. It seems that the Archbishop Lazarus goaded many of the townsmen into venturing into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son. He played upon their fears and whipped them into a frenzied mob. None of them were prepared for what lay within the cold earth. Lazarus abandoned them down there, left in the clutches of unspeakable horrors to die. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Big, big cleaver, killing all my friends. Couldn't stab him, had to run away. Couldn't save them. Trapped in a room with so many bodies. So many friends. Ah! <laughs> what ails you, my friend? By the light, I know of this vile demon. There were many that bore the scars of his wrath upon their bodies when the few survivors of the charge led by Lazarus crawled from the cathedral. I don't know what he used to slice open his victims, but it could not have been of this world. It left wounds festering with disease, and even I found them almost impossible to treat. Beware if you plan to battle this fiend. Over here. I know more than you think about that grizzly fiend. His little friends got a hold of me and managed to get my leg before Griswold pulled me out of that hole. I'll put it bluntly. Kill him before he kills you and adds your corpse to his collection. I sense a soul in search of answers. The Butcher is a sadistic creature that delights in the torture and pain of others. You have seen his handiwork in the drunkard Farnham. His destruction will do much to ensure the safety of this village.
your death will be avenged.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm glad I caught up to you in time. Our wells have become brackish and stagnant, and some of the townspeople have become ill drinking from them. Our reserves of fresh water are quickly running dry. I believe that there is a passage that leads to the springs that serve our town. Please find what has caused this calamity, or we all will surely perish. What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Hmm. I don't know what I can really tell you about this that will be of any help. The water that fills our wells comes from an underground spring. I have heard of a tunnel that leads to a great lake. Perhaps they are one and the same. Unfortunately, I do not know what would cause our water supply to be tainted. Well, what can I do for you? Pippin has told ye the truth. We will need fresh water badly, and soon. I've tried to clear one of the smaller wells, but it reeks of stagnant filth. It must be getting clogged at the source. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Yes, Farnham has mumbled something about a hulking brute who wielded a fierce weapon. I believe he called him a butcher. I have always tried to keep a large supply of foodstuffs and drink in our storage cellar, but with the entire town having no source of fresh water, even our stores will soon run dry. Please, do what you can, or I don't know what we will do. Can a fellow drink in peace? Do you drink water? Good day. How may I serve you? My grandmother is very weak, and Garda says that we cannot drink the water from the wells. Please, can you do something to help us? Over here. For once, I'm with you. My business runs dry, so to speak, if I have no market to sell to. You better find out what is going on, and soon. I sense a soul in search of answers. The people of Tristram will die if you cannot restore fresh water to their wells. Know this, demons are at the heart of this matter, but they remain ignorant of what they have spawned.
I need something done, but I couldn't impose. I can't use this yet.
Now where would I put this? Oh, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I do for you. Well, what can I do for you? do for you.
What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers. The spirits of the dead are now avenged.
Well, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you?
Now where would I put this? I can't use this yet. Can't carry any more. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. do for you. Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers.
No, kill. Keep alive. And next time, good bring to you. Please. Can't carry any more. Something for you, I am making. Again, not kill Garbod. Live and give good. You take this as proof, I keep word. I can't use this yet. So it came to be that there was a great revolution within the Burning Hells, known as the Dark Exile. The lesser evils overthrew the three primevils and banished their spirit forms to the mortal realm. 
the demons Belial, the Lord of Lies, and Osmodan, the Lord of Sin, fought to claim rulership of Hell during the absence of the Three Brothers. All of Hell polarized between the factions of Belial and Osmodan, while the forces of the High Heavens continually battered upon the very gates of Hell. Nothing yet. Almost done. This too good for you. Very powerful. You want, you take. Not impressed. I can't carry any more. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. What ails you, my friend? Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Well, what can I do for you? I'm still waiting for you to bring me that stone from the heavens. I know that I can make something powerful out of it. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Griswold speaks of the Heaven Stone that was destined for the Enclave located in the East. It was being taken there for further study. This stone glowed with an energy that somehow granted vision beyond that which a normal man could possess. I do not know what secrets it holds, my friend, but finding this stone would certainly prove most valuable. What ails you, my friend? I don't know what it is they thought they could see with that rock, but I will say this. If rocks are falling from the sky, you would better be careful. Can't a fellow drink in peace? I used to have a nice ring. It was a really expensive one. Blue and green and red and silver. Don't remember what happened to it, though. I really miss that ring. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. The caravan stopped here to take on some supplies for their journey to the east. 
I sold him quite an array of fresh fruits and some excellent sweetbreads that Garda had just finished baking. Shame what happened to them. Good day. How may I serve you? Well, a caravan of some very important people did stop here, but that was quite a while ago. They had strange accents and were starting on a long journey, as I recall. I don't see how you could hope to find anything that they would have been carrying. Psst! Over here! If anyone can make something out of that rock, Griswold can. He knows what he is doing! And as much as I try to steal his customers, I respect the quality of his work. I sense a soul in search of answers. such a trouble I have. Well, maybe... No, I, I couldn't impose on you, what with all the other troubles. Maybe after you've cleansed the church of some of those creatures, you could come back and spare a little time to help a poor farmer?
The smell of death surrounds me. This must be what Griswold wanted. Messira! Aye! Aye, it is as I believed! Give me a moment. Ah, here you are! I arranged pieces of the stone within a silver ring that my father left me. Ah, I hope it serves you well. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. do for you.
so locked beyond the gateway of blood and past the hall of fire, valor awaits for the hero of light to awaken. What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers. My friend, stay a while and listen. for you.
I have no room. May the spirit of Arcane protect me. May the spirit of Arcane protect me. I do for you. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, what can I do for you? Whoa, what can I do for you?
Can't carry any more. can't carry any more.
Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Beyond the Hall... Now where would I put this? I have no room. I have no room. I sense a soul in search of answers. My friend, stay a while and listen. A book that speaks of a chamber of human bones? Well, a chamber of bone is mentioned in certain archaic writings that I studied in the libraries of the East. These tomes inferred that when the lords of the underworld desired to protect great treasures, 
They would create domains where those who died in the attempt to steal that treasure would be forever bound to defend it. A twisted but strangely fitting end. Well, what can I do for you? know nothing of this place. But you may try asking Cain. He talks about many things, and it would not surprise me if he had some answers to your question. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. I am afraid that I don't know anything about that, good master. Cain has many books that may be of some help. What ails you, my friend? This sounds like a very dangerous place. If you venture there, please take great care. Can't a fellow drink in peace? Okay, so listen. There's this chamber of wood, see? And his wife, you know, her, tells the tree. Because you gotta wait. Then I says that might work against him, but if you think I'm gonna pay for this, you... Uh, yeah! Good day! How may I serve you? I'm afraid that I haven't heard anything about that. Perhaps Kane the Storyteller could be of some help. Mysterious treasure, you say? Hmm, maybe I could be interested in picking up a few things from you. Or better yet, don't you need some rare and expensive supplies to get you through this ordeal? I sense a soul in search of answer. You will become an eternal servant of the Dark Lords should you perish within this cursed domain. Enter the Chamber of Bone at your own peril. Oh, I could use your help. But perhaps after you've saved the catacombs from the desecration of those beasts.
I have no room. I can't carry any more. Oh, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Whoa, what can I do for you? Now where would I put this?
I can't carry any more. Can't carry any more. I sense a soul in search of answers. My friend, stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? my friend. Well, what can I do for you? do for you. Over here.
can't carry any more. I have no room. can't carry any more. I have no room. I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers. for you.
What ails you, my friend? What? Why are you here? All these interruptions are enough to make one insane. <laughs> here, take this and leave me to my work. Trouble me no more. Uh, your curiosity will be the death of you. I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? I sense a soul in search of answers. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you?
Many demons traveled to the mortal realm in search of the three brothers. These demons were followed to the mortal plane by angels who hunted them throughout the vast cities of the East. The angels allied themselves with a secretive order of mortal magi named the Haradrim, who quickly became adept at hunting demons. They also made many dark enemies in the underworlds. Hot down here. Rest in peace, my friend. What can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen.
Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? That didn't do anything. That didn't do anything.
can't use this yet. Whoa! What can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Whoa, what can I do for you? Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Good day. How may I serve you? So, you're the hero everyone's been talking about. Perhaps you could help a poor, simple farmer out of a terrible mess? At the edge of my orchard, or just south of here, there's a horrible thing swelling out of the ground. I can't get to my crops or my bales of hay, and my poor cows will starve. The witch gave this to me and said that it would blast that thing out of my field. If you could destroy it, I would be forever grateful. I do it myself, but someone has to stay here with the cows. What do we have here? Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? Whoa. Now that is a big mushroom. Yes, this will be perfect for a brew that I am creating. By the way, the healer is looking for the brain of some demon or another so he can treat those who have been afflicted by their poisonous venom. I believe that he intends to make an elixir from it. If you help him find what he needs, please see if you can get a sample of the elixir for me. What ails you, my friend? The witch told me that you were searching for the brain of a demon to assist me in creating my elixir. It should be of great value to the many who were injured by those foul beasts. If I can just unlock the secrets, I suspect that its alchemy holds. If you can remove the brain of a demon when you kill it, 
I would be grateful if you could bring it to me.
I have no room.
We have long lain dormant, and the time to awaken has come. After our long sleep, we are filled with great hunger. Soon now we shall feed.
Now where would I put this? Oh, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, what can I do for you? What's that you say? The mere presence of the demons has caused the water to become tainted? Oh, truly a great evil lurks beneath our town. But your perseverance and courage gives us hope. Please, take this ring. Perhaps it will aid you in the destruction of such vile creatures. What ails you, my friend? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen.
Now where would I put this? These lands shall be defiled, and our brood shall overrun the fields that men call home. Our tendrils shall envelop this world, and we will feast on the flesh of its denizens. Man shall become a chattel and sustenance.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I can't cast that here. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? Not enough mana.
come closer, morsel. I smell your terror, and I hunger. What ails you, my friend? Whoa! What can I do for you? I heard the explosion from here. Many thanks to you, kind stranger. What with all these things coming out of the ground, monsters taking over the church and so forth, these are trying times. I'm but a poor farmer, but here, take this with my great thanks.
This is a place of great power.
had enough mana. I can't carry any more.
Spells, threats, abjuration, and bargaining with this foul creature. To no avail. My methods of enslaving lesser demons seem to have no effect on this fearsome beast. Not enough mana.
its ranting, the creature has let slip its name, Necrol. I have attempted to research the name, but the smaller demons have somehow destroyed my library. Necrol. The name fills me with a cold dread. I prefer to think of it only as the creature, rather than ponder its true name. My home is slowly becoming corrupted by the vileness of this unwanted prisoner. The crypts are full of shadows that move just beyond the corners of my vision. The faint scrabble of claws dances at the edges of my hearing. They are searching, I think, for this journal. Thank you. 
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? What can I do for you? I have no room. Thank <laughs> you. 
My time is quickly running out. 
I must record the ways to weaken the demon, and then conceal that text, lest his minions find some way to use my knowledge to free their lord. I hope that whoever finds this journal will seek the knowledge. Just what I was looking for.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Well, what can I do for you? Whoever finds this scroll is charged with stopping the demonic creature that lies within these walls. My time is over. Even now, its hellish minions claw at the frail door behind which I hide. I have hobbled the demon with arcane magic and encased it within great walls, but I fear that will not be enough. The spells found in my three grimoires will provide you protected entrance to his domain, but only if cast in their proper sequence. The levers at the entryway will remove the barriers and free the demon. Touch them not. Use only these spells to gain entry, or his power may be too great for you to defeat. What ails you, my friend?
Yes! What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers.
What can I do for you? What can I do for you? What ails you, my friend?
So it came to be that the three prime evils were banished in spirit form to the mortal realm, and after sowing chaos across the east for decades, they were hunted down by the cursed order of the mortal Haradrim. The Haradrim used artifacts called Soul Stones to contain the essence of Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, and his brother Baal, the Lord of Destruction. The youngest brother, Diablo, the Lord of Terror, escaped to the west. Eventually, the Horadrum captured Diablo within a soul stone as well and buried him under an ancient forgotten cathedral. There, the Lord of Terror sleeps and awaits the time of his rebirth. Know ye that he will seek a body of youth and power to possess, one that is innocent and easily controlled. He will then arise to free his brothers and once more fan the flames of the Sin War. Now where would I put this?
I can't carry any more. I can't carry any more. I do for you. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. I do for you. you, my friend.
I must be getting close. Oh, what can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Oh, what can I do for you? for you. What ails you, my friend?
The armories of Hell are home to the Warlord of Blood. In his wake lay the mutilated bodies of thousands. Angels and man alike have been cut down to fulfill his endless sacrifices to the Dark Ones, who scream for one thing, blood. Your reign of pain has ended. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? Now where would I put this? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? Over here.
Not enough mana.
my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers.
had enough mana. Not enough mana. Over here. What can I do for you? What ails you, my friend?
This does not bode well, for it confirms my darkest fears. While I did not allow myself to believe the ancient legends, I cannot deny them now. Perhaps the time has come to reveal who I am. My true name is Deckard Cain, the Elder, and I am the last descendant of an ancient brotherhood that was dedicated to safeguarding the secrets of a timeless evil. An evil that, quite obviously, has now been released. The Archbishop Lazarus, once King Leoric's most trusted advisor, led a party of simple townsfolk into the labyrinth to find the king's missing son, Albrecht. Quite some time passed before they returned, and only a few of them escaped with their lives. Curse me for a fool! I should have suspected his veiled treachery then. It must have been Lazarus himself who kidnapped Albrecht and has since hidden him within the labyrinth. I do not understand why the Archbishop turned to the darkness, or what his interest is in the child. Unless he means to sacrifice him to his dark masters. That must be what he has planned. The survivors of his rescue party say that Lazarus was last seen running into the deepest bowels of the labyrinth. You must hurry and save the prince from the sacrificial blade of this demented fiend. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend?
in your foolish quest. All that awaits you is the wrath of my master. You are too late to save the child. Now you will join him in hell. Your madness ends here, betrayer. Your story is quite grim, my friend. Lazarus will surely burn in hell for his horrific deed. The boy that you describe is not our prince. But I believe that Albrecht may yet be in danger. The symbol of power that you speak of must be a portal in the very heart of the labyrinth. Know this, my friend. The evil that you move against is the Dark Lord of Terror. He is known to mortal men as Diablo. It was he who was imprisoned within the labyrinth many centuries ago, and I fear that he seeks to once again sow chaos in the realm of mankind. You must venture through the portal and destroy Diablo before it is too late. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend?
Trapped creature's howls of fury keep me from gaining much needed sleep. It rages against the one who sent it to the void, and it calls foul curses upon me for trapping it here. Its words fill my heart with terror, and yet I cannot block out its voice.
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. What ails you, my friend? Well, what can I do for you? I sense a soul in search of answers.
not enough mana.
Not enough mana. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers.
in spiritu sanctum. Efficio obitus ut inimicus. Predictum otium. Predictum otium. In spiritu sanctum. Predictum. What can I do for you? Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Whoa, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? What can I do for you?
not enough mana. Whoever finds Now where would I put this?
Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you?
Not enough mana. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Well, what can I do for you? What ails you, my friend?
What ails you, my friend? What ails you, my friend? I sense a soul in search of answers. I sense a soul in search of answers.
The Soul Stone burns with hellfire as an eerie red glow blurs your vision. Fresh blood flows into your eyes and you begin to hear the tormented whispers of the damned. You have done what you knew must be done. The essence of Diablo is contained. For now. You pray that you have become strong enough to contain the demon and keep him at bay. Although you have been fortified by your quest, you can still feel him clawing his way up from the dark recesses of your soul. Fighting to retain control, your thoughts turn toward the ancient mystic lands of the Far East. Perhaps there, beyond the desolate wastes of Aranach, you will find an answer. Or perhaps, salvation.